Hey YouTube, Red Mono Review here with you. What do you have for your emergency power? Here's just one of my emergency power setups that I have. This is the Goal Zero Nomad 3.5 kit with the Switch 8. Uh, it's a 3.5 watt solar panel. And it comes with the Switch 8 uh, cell. It's a battery cell. It's got a USB female end and a USB male end to charge it. So you can charge this by plugging it directly into a USB or using the 3.5 watt Nomad solar panel. Uh, if you don't know anything about Goal Zero, it's a company out of Bluffdale, Utah. They're pretty cool. They have, they have some pretty neat solar charging options. I recommend you check out their website. It's pretty good. Uh, you can find their stuff at REI. A lot of this stuff's on Amazon. Amazon's going to be your best place to buy it. Another cool thing about this Switch 8 is it's got a battery level charge. So, so it shows you how charged your battery is. Um, it will blink as they charge. You can see it. Well, we'll take it outside. It's, it's a cloudy day but it, we'll show you that the three and a half watt nomad charger will still charge it although very slowly uh, another cool thing about switch 8 is I've actually got a light that plugs into this so it just twists on and has a light a flashlight head that screws onto it which is pretty cool um, so there's that let me show you how it works so that it's got a solar port, it's got this little dongle cable for your USB. Just plugs right into the Nomad 3.5. And it plugs directly into your Switch 8. Now this Switch 8, I've got a Motorola uh, Motorola G. And it will charge it to about 60 65 percent when it's completely dead so it won't fully charge your battery on your phone and it takes about six to eight hours for this little this little uh solar panel to charge that switch eight so it does take quite a long time but that's how it works let's just try and run it outside and show you that it, what it does when it's charging here we are outside you can see it's an overcast day this is what it looks like when it's charging let's see here so you can see it's charging in just that little little bit of light uh, the panel doesn't recommend that it can charge a cell phone but it will I plugged my Moto G into it, my Moto G LTE, and it and it's kind of charged it. So even though it doesn't recommend it, even though uh, even though Goal Zero doesn't recommend charging your phone directly with this, it, it will still do it just for your G Wiz. Uh, so there you go. This is the uh, Goal Zero Nomad 3.5. The kit is called. The Goal Zero Switch 8 Solar Recharging Kit combines the Switch 8 battery pack with the Nomad 3.5 Solar Pounder, allowing you to gather and store solar power and recharge your devices almost anywhere. So the Goal Zero Switch 8 Recharging Kit is the just best use for it is backpacking so because it's so light. The charge time takes between 5 and 10 hours. The external charger is a USB wall. The solar cell output capacity is a 5 volt, 1000 milliamp, 5 watt battery. Battery storage capacity is 5 to 10 hours. On sun, USB, it charges in 4 hours. The output of the device is 5 volts, 1000 milliamp battery at 13 volts, 1000 milliamps. The materials is a molycrystalline nylon solar panel. And the dimensions of the Switch 8 are 5 inches by 1 inch by 1 inch round. The weight of the Switch 8 is 3.2 ounces and the panel is 8 ounces. So this is just giving you guys an idea of, 
of some of the options out there for emergency power. I really like Goal Zero. I think they're they're uh, have really great quality. Uh, make sure you check them out again. I like their stuff. I'm not getting paid by Goal Zero or anything. I've bought it all myself. But it's really cool stuff. Make sure you check them out. Thanks for watching Red Mono.